In this video, I'm going to show you how to read measurements on a tape measure. Hey guys, it's David here from David's DIY Reviews. On this channel, we do a lot of little wood project builds, DIY builds, tool reviews, and tool how-to videos just like this one. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for a lot more really great content. So most tape measures are going to look very similar to this. They're probably going to have sixteenths of an inch on one side and eighths of an inch on the other side. All the lines with the numbers on it, the longest lines, those are your inches. So like one, two, three, those are your inches. Between each inch, the line that is the next smallest length from that are going to be your halves. And between the halves, the lines are going to be slightly smaller and those are your quarters. I've illustrated that on this piece of paper here. This is to scale one inch. So you've got one and at the other end you've got two inches. And between that, the line is slightly smaller. That's going to be your half inch. And between that is going to be your quarters. And when you're getting started kind of figuring out fractions and tape measures, start with just halves and quarters and then you can work your way down to eighths and sixteenths and so on. And probably the easiest way to kind of figure out measurements is let's say your measurement ended here at one and three quarter inches. So you could either count back from the two one quarter or you could count up from one, you know, one, two, three quarters. And then you know it's one and three quarters. And if you're trying to figure out even what these lines are, all you do is you look at your tape and you count how many lines are between each. If you count from, you know, between the two and the three and there's 16 little lines in between there, that means those are sixteenths of an inch. And all you do is you literally count, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and so on until you get to where your measurement is and it's that many sixteenths. You know, similar to here, you could say, you know, one, two, three, and you're at one and three quarter. You know, it's really easy just like that. And as you work your way down into eighths of an inch, what I've got illustrated here on this piece of paper, this is to scale one inch again, you've got these smaller lines that are eighths. And these are going to be between the quarters and you're going to have eight of those lines between each inch. And the same as with quarters, you can literally just count up to your measurement. If your you know, material maybe ends here, you count one, two, three, four, five, and that's one and five eighths of an inch and so on, depending on you know, how many inches your measurement actually is. Or like vice versa, like I said, let's say your measurement ended here at seven eighths, you count back from the next full inch. So you go one back, so that means that's going to be seven out of the eight lines. So it's going to be seven eighths of an inch. Another thing I'd like to mention too is the tab on the end of the tape measure. The tab moves and the reason it moves is depending if you're measuring up against something or pulling off of something. The tab moves the exact right amount to make up for the thickness of the tab. And often those tabs can wear out or maybe you don't trust the tab itself. And you can do what's called burning an inch and you can actually start your measurement at the first inch. And that's going to make sure your measurement is always accurate no matter how much that tab is moving. And then you just you know, add on that extra inch to your measurement to make up for the fact that you started at one. And if you're kind of getting confused about, you know, is my measurement eighths? Is it sixteenths? Is it quarters? If the top number of your fraction in your measurement is a whole number, like, you know, two, four, six, then that means you need to divide that down. So, like, if you count you know, your measurements here at the half line and you go one, two, three, four, you go, okay, it's one and four eighths, but it's not going to be four eighths. So you have to divide that down into one quarter. The top number of your fraction in your measurement is always going to be an odd number, like one, three, five, seven, and so on. Then you know that that is the actual dimension, or the, I should say the fraction of the dimension that you're trying to get. And a good way to figure out whether you're dealing with, you know, whether your measurement you're taking is dealing with sixteenths or quarters or eighths or whatever. Let's say your measurement ends right here on the tape, which is, you know, just under five. So you count back, you know, one, two, three. Now you're like, okay, that's three lines, but what is it? Is it, you know, four and what? So you count how many lines are between the inch that yours landed on and then you turn that into the fraction. So you've gone back one, two, three. So how many are between? There's 16. And then you count down from the end of the line. So if there's 16, I've counted back three, that's 13. So that means that's gonna be 
13 16 of an inch or vice versa you can count up from the front end of the measurement kind of if you're on this side of half i would count you know from the beginning if you're on this side of the half i would count back from the, the next number and once again as you start to break your fractions down this is an illustration of one inch and sixteenths of an inch between so the the smaller the fraction of an inch the smaller the lines on the tape measure get and that's kind of how you distinguish the half is going to be the tallest, quarters are next down, eighths, and then the sixteenths are going to be the smallest lines. And if your tape goes down to 30 seconds, they're going to be, you know, even lower. And it's the same thing. You know, you just, you literally just count the lines. And I know that, you know, it, it seems kind of lame and it sounds time consuming, but that's how you're going to learn the fractions. You just count the lines. I, even to this day, to double check, you know, that's kind of what you end up doing. Because you glance at a tape quick, you're like, okay, where am I at? And then you count back three or you count back five. And then you know exactly where you're at. It, it's really the way to do it. It's going to help you. And you can even go ahead and maybe draw an illustration like this. And you kind of look at it. You look at your tape. And you kind of work at it. And you start to figure out what the fractions are, where they are on the tape, what they mean, and so on and so forth. And so dealing with Imperial, there's going to be 12 inches and 1 foot. So all the way up to 1 foot, which is marked here on the tape, is 12 inches. And on this tape, it actually gives you the number of inches past that foot, which is kind of nice. So it's 12 foot 1, 12 foot 2, 12 foot 3, that's marked right on the tape here. And a lot of tapes will have this other number here that you notice, this 16, and then 16 inches later there's going to be 32. And those marks are for, or those numbers are for marking studs every 16 inches. So if you're just doing general measuring, don't pay attention to those too much. But you know, it, it's the same thing. You can also buy tape measures. I think I might have one here. Uh, yeah, you can buy tape measures like this. I don't know if you can see this, but this actually has the fractions written right on the tape measure there. And that's, that's going to help you getting started if you can find a tape measure like this. It also has centimeters. And another good tip to know is that 1 inch equals 25.4 centimeters. So if you're converting from millimeters to inches, that's a, that you're going to really want to have a centimeters inches tape and that's gonna help you out a lot in your projects. So here I've got an illustration of one inch divided up into 30 seconds. And like I said before, it's just gonna be the next smallest lines between the eighths. So from this line to this line, there's gonna be 32 marks. And all you do is you just count them up to where your measurement ends. And you know, if you're at one eighth, you know that just a little bit forward of that is gonna be four plus one, it's gonna be 530 seconds and you know that's the easiest way to do it is just counting the lines I can't really stress that enough when you're starting using a tape measure is instead of just looking at it and trying to think okay what is it what is it you really got to count the lines and that's going to help you learn it so an example of what I mean is if you pull your tape out to the edge of this piece of wood here you look and see which line is at the edge and you count out one two three four five six seven so the seventh line now seven what it's seven inches and seven something. How many lines are there between these two inches? There's 16. So that means it's gonna be seven and seven sixteenths. That's the easiest way to do it. Now, if you came back here to this line, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, like I said before, the top number of your fraction is gonna be an odd number. So because it's six, you're gonna cut that in half. It's gonna be three. So three what? How many of those length lines are between? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means that dimension right there would be three eighths. So seven and three eighths of an inch. Just the same as measuring this piece of wood here. This line falls right on the edge of the wood. So how many of those length lines are there between two inch? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, like I said before, if you're near the end of the inch, you can count back. So how many back is that? It's one. So that means you're going to take the one from the eight. So that's going to be seven eighths. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One inch plus seven eighths. So one and seven eighths inches. Just like that. And what I meant before about burning an inch and this tab, if you were pushing your tape up against here and wanted to measure from this point to this point, but you weren't sure about the accuracy of this tab, you just take your tape and you move it in to the first inch and then you just measure from that first inch out to the edge of the piece of wood 
and you take that measurement like that and it's always going to be accurate if you start with that one inch line. And if you're actually just trying to figure out how to use a tape measure, you know, the different techniques and different types of tape measures and how to use them to actually make precise, accurate measurements, check out this video I've made. It's a great little piece of content on, you know, different types of tape measures, how to use them, the different, you know, parts of a tape measure and how they work. So that way you can, you know, learn how to read the tape measure, learn how to use the tape measure, and you'd be all set to start doing your DIY woodworking, whatever it is you're going to do. And just like always, guys, Every Monday, every Wednesday, new videos, tons of great content, little builds, tool reviews, techniques. See you in the next video.